Welcome to The Daily Calm. I'm Tamara Levitt. And today, we'll be exploring how to be with the chaos of the mind. Let's start our session by taking a position that's comfortable. Close your eyes and take a moment to scan your body. And just tune in to what's here. And in a really gentle way, see if anything wants to relax or let go. Feel the gentle pull of gravity, how your body is pulled towards the earth. And relax the body even more completely. Drop the shoulders some more. Soften the belly. And then bring your attention to the flow of your breath. Observe each in-breath and each out-breath. Not trying to change it in any way, just breathing naturally. If it helps, you can count the breaths. So you breathe in and breathe out and count one. Breathe in and breathe out and count two. Count all the way to ten and start again. Focus on the sensation of the breath, not the number. And just continue to gently follow each breath over and over. And take a moment to notice where the mind is. Not judging, just observing. On some days, our mind will be active, our thoughts racing. If this happens, say to yourself, no problem. 
We're not resisting what's happening in our mind. We're allowing for it and learning the art of non-reactivity. So if our mind is busy, we simply notice, no problem. And then we gently return our attention back to our focus. Breathing in and breathing out. Count one. Breathing in and breathing out. Count two. Now, gently relax your attention. When we sit down to meditate, sometimes it feels like our mind is racing the whole time. And for some meditators, this leads to the frustrating feeling that they sat for 20 minutes but accomplished nothing. So I want to emphasize that meditation is learning how to accept and be with whatever arises. When we have a chaotic mind, more important than calming it down is learning how not to react to it. This practice is about developing equanimity, which means being at peace with whatever is in our experience. And to find that peace, we must accept but sometimes we'll have busy thoughts. Meditation is not about controlling the mind. It's about working with the mind. I mean, really, how often does our mind obey us? Most of the time, it has its own agenda, like a rambunctious toddler who says, I've got more exciting things to do. So in a sense, we can treat the mind as we would a small child. When it gets bored and runs outside, we patiently, gently lead it back home. And we play this game over and over. There's a great quote by Hinapola Gunaratata that reads, Somewhere in this process, you will come face to face with the sudden and shocking realization that you are completely crazy. No problem. You are not crazier than you were yesterday. It has always been this way, and you just never noticed. So this phrase, no problem, beautifully sums up a goal of this practice. We're learning to be unbothered by the chaos of our mind and anything uncomfortable in our experience. 
So the next time you have an uncontrollable racing mind, say to yourself, no problem. As Tara Brock said, the boundary to what we can accept is the boundary to our freedom. Now, when you're ready, bring your attention back to the room. Gently wiggle your fingers and toes. And when you're ready, open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed today's Daily Calm. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.